So I recently began playing this really cute and quirky game called Elden Ring. People say it's difficult, but my experience playing games has always been dying multiple times to anything that decides to fight you. So I couldn't really tell. That's not my usual game though. I mean, my idea of a good time gaming is when Cooking Mama tells me I did a great job and I'm even better than Mama. Mother. I didn't love me. I'm no epic pro gamer. I'm not even sure my intelligence stat meets the criteria for a sentient life form, but what I am is down bad. And from the moment I stepped foot into the round table hole, the Lord began to test me with a woman offering to give me the devil's tango. Despite my overwhelming desires, I couldn't bring myself to accept her offer. Sure, I had just defeated Marjeet. <laughs> oh, the summon. I had proven that studying the blade is, in fact, a valid career choice choice that makes women weak in the knees. But alas, for some reason, I just didn't think I'd earned it. But I knew how I could become worthy. If I could destroy the tree sentinel, now that is a feat worthy of a woman's touch. But how am I going to do it when I've cheesed every victory up until this point? The answer is simple. A fake gamer might say, simply get good. Or give your character the stupidly overpowered build to win. Two things about that one. One, these strategies require at least a 90 IQ, and I'm batting 50. And two, those strats are old, and dare I say, boring. No, they pale in comparison to my experiment. See, I've discovered a truly powerful method. I've tested it on random field mobs, which means it's perfectly suited to kill a notoriously annoying boss. You see, the real way to master Elden Ring and make every pro gamer seethe uncontrollably is just press R1. How could it be this simple, you ask? Can she really do it? The answer is yes. With the determination to never learn anything new ever, the R1 strategy becomes possible. And if there's anyone who's willing to throw themselves at a wall over and over again until it cracks and breaks simply so they can achieve in-game hand-holding, it's me. Sit back and watch a master in her craft and behold your new god. The R1 button. Behold its glory. Its majesty. Its... So as you can see, the first few attempts went, um... Nowhere, but this is all according to Keikaku. You ever heard the saying, good things come with time? The R1 strat is exactly the same. You just gotta have faith and the willingness to learn his attack pattern so you can roll properly, but that part is totally secondary to the R1 thing. Just one problem though. I have this really cringe disease. The doctor called it crippling anxiety. And apparently one of the main symptoms is panic rolling when it doesn't make sense. I was unable to get diagnosed before the release of Elden Ring, but now I I and millions of other people are now getting the help we need. Thank you, From Software. Anyway, all we can really do is pray that I won't panic roll when it matters most. So it turns out that none of you are praying hard enough. Is this a joke to you? Are you laughing right now? I truly thought I had stumbled upon a panacea, a cure-all for the Elden Ring woes. Was it all a lie? Everything I fought for, my honor, my blade, my chicken nuggets, did it all mean nothing in the end? Was I always destined to fail? No. No, that is the one thing I cannot accept. Because it's one thing for you to know that you're a failure. It's another thing for someone else to be aware of it. And Tree Sentinel has seen me die way too many times. He can't be allowed to live. No one else can know. If I want to beat this guy, I have to make one sacrifice. That's right. Torrent. My noble steed. I wanted to completely raw dog this fight, but desperate times call for desperate measures. Perhaps if I activate my third and final brain cell, I can cheese this fight with my mouth. Check this out. Look how much free damage this is. So good. So easy. So simple. Why didn't I do this from the start? Okay, maybe not for the entire fight, but we're gonna give him a little wombo combo at the start, okay? Just to let him know what's about to happen. Keep him on his toes, or hoofs, I guess. This is the part where something begins to happen. Something magical. I begin to change. I am now still rolling like an idiot, but I'm getting better at doing it on time. It's almost like I'm learning or something. Is this the legendary getting good all the pro gamers talk about? After years of forgetting why I entered a room, I didn't think learning boss mechanics was possible. And yet here we are. Look at this. Bad dodging, but dodging nonetheless. I begin to think it's possible that we can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Uh, 
<laughs> now that's a heartbreaker. I really thought we had him there, but it just wasn't meant to be. But you're kidding yourself if you think that's the end. My will is absolute. My judgment is final. This battle is mine. I charge all of my anime girl energy into this last attempt, rolling like my life depends on it, using my horse to heal up because my fear of this man is immense, chipping away at his health bit by bit with every attack, and then... I strike the killing blow. That glorious enemy felt spills across the screen. R1 is the god of the new world. <laughs> but of course, I won't forget to claim my prize. Back in the round table hold, my darling awaits. I enter the room with the smell of victory. Gamer girl sweat on my skin. I try to close the doors, but apparently privacy isn't real. I check myself in the mirror to make sure I'm still tight as fuck. And holy shit, I thought she was just going to hold my hand, but... This, this is so much worse. All I can do is hope YouTube doesn't strike this video for indecent content. This is more intimate than anything else I've done in a video game ever. Baldekin's blessing, huh? So that's what kids are calling it on the streets these days. <laughs> well then, this is a game about getting lots of blessings from thousands of women, huh? Man, Elden Ring really is the Dark Souls of getting puzzled.